how do we heal our lives? You know, let's face it, we all face disharmony in some facet of our life at one time or another, whether it be a health challenge, whether it be a relationship breakdown, whether it be an inability to open to prosperity in life, or maybe perhaps to have a deep spiritual connection. Um, we all experience these uh, twists and turns in the road of our own experience, I like to call them. And so the question arises, I think, for all of us at one time or another have asked this question, how do I heal my life? How do I restore harmony to my body, my mind, and my spirit? And so today I wanted to kind of just share some insight on that because unfortunately we kind of live in this world where we try to solve things out there, you know? It's like, oh, it's out there, my solution's out there, my solution's out there. But no, your solution is inside you. It's in your heart space. It's in your ability to process your own emotional energy. Now, what does that mean? Well, this world that we live in is a masterful design. I mean, wow, it's incredible. It's like, come here to planet Earth and experience yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh, what does that exactly mean? Well, you have a resonance, a vibration that is yours. It's what you carry with you, your state of being. Remember, we're human beings, not human doings, okay? First of all, your state of being has the ability to shape and shift your life, your world. And if you want to shape and shift your experience, change it. Move past these challenges in your life. You have to shift your state of being, not do more. Not work harder, you have to shift your state of being. In other words, your resonance, your vibration. And so the question arises, well, how do I do that? Well, what kind of challenges my energy in the first place? Well, there's really two areas that we need to take a look at. First of all, one, we live in a world that, I'm sorry, is filled with many miscreations, let's call them that, okay? I mean, look at we have multiple thousands of chemicals in our air, food, and water. We have multiple waves filling our environment, 5G, 4G, 3G, Wi-Fi, smart meters, uh, EMFs, radio signals, radar signals, all these different things that are flying through our environment. Remember, you're an energetic being, okay? You have this beautiful field of energy that conducts who and what you are that conducts how you show up in the world. And if that energy gets compromised, if that energy gets out of tune, if that energy gets into disharmony, you're going to experience challenges. So the first step is to rise above all these external things that are being beamed through our environment. And there are ways to do that. And I certainly have shared that, I invite you to go to the website, learn more how you can rise above the energy disruptors in your environment, the outer world. And then we also have this inner part. Uh, one day sitting down with Dr. Jones, who was a former top consultant to NASA, asked me this question that changed my life forever. He said, Mark, what's the most powerful energy disruptor in the universe? And I'm thinking, you know, it's gotta be radiation or gamma rays or something cool like that. But no, his answer really shocked me. And the answer was the most powerful energy disruptor in the universe are our own limiting thoughts, beliefs, and perceptions the beliefs that we have picked up from our past traumas, our past experiences that have been embedded into the operating system software of our minds, of our energy, of our subconscious minds. They vibrate and resonate within us 24 seven and ultimately impacting our state of being, our resonance, and then that ultimately impacts what we create in our experiences. So if we wanna change our lives, we have to change within. If we want to change and move past our challenges and transform them, we have to change within our own selves. This is why we've been trying to change things out there forever. Oh my gosh, you know, do all this different stuff and nothing changes. We still have the reoccurring problem. It's because you have to change within yourself. You have to change your energy. You have to change your state of being. And this is what we are awakening to. This is when we're starting to learn Oh, wait, what, what happens to all those repressed emotions that I have uh, felt over the course of my life from different things that have happened in my experiences, the, 
the tumultuous relationships, the things that the media has told me, the fear that's been injected into the space, where does all that go? It goes within you. It goes within your energy. It goes within your field. It disrupts and puts your energy into a state of disharmony. Remember, I could be the best guitarist in the world, but if my strings are out of tune, I am not going to play beautiful music. I am not going to create what I have the ability to create. So we have to learn how to move through and let go. Those old beliefs, those old perceptions, those old stories that say we're anything but divine, anything but holy, anything but magnificent. Nothing could be farther from the truth. After all, you're made up of the same beautiful energy that set this universe in motion. So just breathe that in. So we rise above the vibrational barriers in our environment and we let go of the old beliefs, the old stories, the old stored emotions. And we begin to free ourselves so that we can soar, so that we can heal. so that we can awaken and ultimately manifest the life of our dreams. You are a beautiful, divine expression of life, of possibility. And right now we are all being called to awaken to this truth. to start living our lives on a whole different level of empowerment and possibility. So just take some deep breaths, breathing in the notes. And I invite you to remember to restore harmony body, your mind, your spirit. So that you can play your music, your beautiful music, out into the world. So, how do we restore harmony to our body, mind, and spirit? How do we change our resonance, our state of being? We rise above these negative effects in our environment, these negative disruptors that have, you know, basically filled our space, that disrupt our energy. And then, of course, we let go of the most potent disruptor of them all, the old stories of lack, limitation, not good enough, I don't deserve, uh, I can't forgive, whatever it might be, and we let that go. And so you might ask the question, well, how do I do that? Just start here in this one step. Set an intention to do so. Set an intention to rise above the vibrational barriers in your environment. Set the intention to let go of the old limiting stories, the old limiting beliefs that aren't in alignment with the truth of who and what you are. Start there, right there in this now moment. And that begins to create the shift. And then I invite you to listen to how life responds. Listen. We all get caught up in the hows. Let go of the hows. The how is not your domain. Your domain as a divine sovereign being is to set the intention, put the command forward. Then listen to see how life responds. Follow your intuitive hits. Follow your inner guidance. And the answers will be brought to your attention. So just sending you all kinds of good vibes as you move forward and tuning the strings of your life experience, healing your life, awakening to your magnificence, and yes, ultimately composing the life of your dreams. This is what we're all being called to awaken to. 
This is what we're being called to remember. So excited to be supporting as best as I can on that journey. Uh, excited for your commitment in doing so for yourself. And uh, just invite you to shine and to enjoy the twists and turns of your own human experience as you begin to remember more and more of who and what you really are. Take care. Have a harmonious day.